Hi, everybody. I'm Danny Dancer, and I am the social studies educator here at Fort Bend Children's Discovery Center. And today's educator moment is part of our National Engineering Wonder Week, which is sponsored by Fleur. And today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can do some paper engineering. But I also want to tell you about a special program that Fleur is doing right now, which is an engineering challenge. So if you want to learn more about this challenge, you go to sciencebuddies.org slash floor. That's F-L-U-O-R. Sciencebuddies.org slash floor. And you can take this paper engineering challenge and you can have the chance to earn a thousand dollars for your school or your after school group or for something like a food bank or a nonprofit organization. And the way you do that is by submitting an entry you have until March 12th. Entries are being taken right now, but you have until March 12th to do this to try to design and build the tallest paper tower you can build using only two materials. You can use paper and you can use a tape. And the, the less tape you use, the more paper and the less tape that you use, the more impressive your tower will be. Now, ultimately, we do have one special goal for this, which is to see no matter how tall your tower gets, if you can get it to hold the weight of a single pan for one whole minute. Oh, there's all sorts of information you can find on that web page that I told you earlier, but right now I actually just want to show you one way you can get started on your paper towel, and that is by building a dowel or kind of like almost like a stick using that paper and tape. So I'm going to show you one technique that you can try just to get yourself started building your paper tower. And all you need for this is a sheet of newspaper, your tape, and we're going to start off with a pencil because what we're going to do is we are going to make a newspaper dowel, which will be kind of like a stick that we can use to help our tower get nice and tall. In order to do this, we're going to start off with our pencil in one corner of our newspaper. You can use other kinds of paper for this as well, but newspaper is great just because it's such a big sheet of paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start rolling my newspaper really, really tightly around my pencil. Now at a certain point before your pencil disappears, you're going to want to take that out because you can't have a pencil as part of the tower, just the paper and the tape, so we gotta take that guy out. But then you're gonna wanna keep rolling it up and try to keep it nice and tight. That way our paper will be a lot sturdier when we get to the end. If it's really, really loose, it bends really easily. So we're gonna try to keep it nice and tight as we continue to roll all the way to the end of our newspaper. And when you get to the end, you're just going to take one small piece of tape. Now remember, we want to use as little tape as possible for this challenge. The cool thing is for this, if you just take a little tiny piece of tape, you only need like an inch or so of tape at most. Tape your bottom corner down just like this and check it out. I already have a paper tower. <gasps> doesn't stand up on its own, but I can make more paper dowels. Excuse me a moment. This seems like a pretty good start. Now one thing is, for this challenge, whether you are actually submitting this for the challenge or just trying this out on your own, it is really great to have a friend help you to put these different pieces together. That way one person can hold while somebody else tapes. So I'm gonna bring my friend John in here to help me do a little bit of construction. How's it going, John? Good. Awesome. All right, let's see if we can start off with a triangle. I hear those are, are pretty good shapes. If you hold those in place, I can just add a little bit of tape to the top. And let's see if it stands. Three, two, one. Oh, so much better than before. All right, I think we can keep this thing going here. Okay, it's holding. So far, so good. Um, so now, John, I would say things that we did super well. Uh, teamwork, um, creativity, 
And it is, in fact, successfully holding our can for like 25 seconds and counting. So we're getting towards that minute mark. Things that we could totally improve on because, of course, that's part of the engineering process is trying things out and then seeing what works and what doesn't and then improving it is I think we could make this thing taller if we wanted to keep going with this challenge. I think we could get it a little taller than this, like what, two and a half feet? But that would just mean us making some more dowels or maybe even creating some different structures with our paper. I'm pretty proud of this though. I think we could win. Except we're not in kindergarten through 12th grade. So if you are, you can try this challenge. Go to that website, that's sciencebuddies.org slash F-L-U-O-R. You can try out this engineering challenge and submit it if you'd like, or just do it for fun. Cause John, I had a lot of fun building this. This is pretty great. Thank you very much everybody for joining us for today's educator moment as part of our National Engineering Wonder Week sponsored by Fleur. And we will see you all again really soon. Bye.